Rita who has an extra thumb on one of her hands which sounds disgusting but actually isn't once you've seen it every day for a million years. She even sells little thumb sweets which are my complete and utter favourite. out of the car as we zoomed past because I didn't want her to think I'd started going to another sweet shop because of her third thumb or something. I don't think she heard or saw me though. There's Barry and Bunky with their new granddad shouting down down the fisky as we drove through the front at school, Mr. Hodge was blowing off to the stone on the radio. I'm not with them, shouted Bunky out of the window as we parked and he got out and zoomed off like a talking coffee poo. Not that it mattered because his first lesson was with me and Mr. Hodgepodge anyway. I thought he could do something really fun today. Mr. Hodgepodge said once we'd all sat down at our desks. As you know, my new girlfriend is Barry Loser's Bunny and his lesson is all about something she said last night. Everyone laughed and I imagined Mr. Hodgepodge accidentally chatting <coughs> when a couple of hoverboots and floating off into the sunset never to be seen again. And we were watching TV and there was an advert for one of these mobile phone thingamajigs, he said. Dan Donofisky was scraping the back of my neck with his ruler, I turned round and he, he did a little burp and blew it into his my face. Barry's granny has a amazed, said Mr. Hodgepodge, telephone, telephones you can carry around, she said, though what will they think of the next? If I wasn't very loose and Mr. Hodgepodge wasn't going out with Granny Harp and Duck, I would have laughed along with the rest of the class at his impression of an old granny. But I am and he is, so I didn't. So today's lesson is called what? Will they think of next? Mr. Hodgepodge said and he pointed at me. Barry, what do you think they'll think of next? Oh, Barry first. What a surprise, said Tracy Pilchard. And her Donatella and Sharonella all started giggling. Not that I cared because his, this was ex exactly the kind of lesson I'm completely brilliant and amazing at. I think I was thinking it would be kill if when you thought of something it popped up in a bubble above your head like in cartoons. I said because that was what happened in a future Boy episode once. What's kill? said Jason Twix and I rolled my eyes because... Everyone knows that Kiel is how Fat Boy says 